in Seattle, I could not resist flying up to Alaska. We were so close, I would say. I was also only three states away from having been to all 50, and Alaska's a tough one, so we just had to go. We spent time in Fairbanks and Denali National Park. Took a four-hour ride on the Alaska Railroad from Fairbanks to Denali. Lucas and Henry liked riding on the train. We took the adventure class, the equivalent of economy. They had a gold star class that offered roomier seats, food, drinks, and a tour guide to narrate the journey. The train was clean, but the adventure class is not the most comfortable. The Monday we were there, there was summer solstice. We lucked out getting the opportunity to go to the midnight sun game. It's an amateur baseball game played by the Alaska Gold Panners every summer solstice at Groudon Memorial Park. The game starts at 10 p.m. and ends at around 1.30 and they never use lights. The kids ran the bases and we won a $150 gift card to a steak restaurant in a raffle at the game. Go, 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 Lucas. Lucas and Henry were excited that it never got dark. It was not dark even at 1 or 2 a.m. even though the sun had already set. Also, my dad and stepmom work in Denali in the summer, so it was great to see them. There's wildlife just all around us. One day we saw 13 moose. We hiked the Horseshoe Lake Trail, an easy two mile hike in the park. We also went on a two mile hike to see mushing dogs. We got to see the dogs and learn about mushing. Then we headed to the North Pole. It's about 15 minute drive from Fairbanks. Santa, Mrs. Claus, and the reindeer were there. Jumping out of rain bombs, all the shedding they're doing right now. Because they're going from, from, from spring, winter, spring, now they're putting out their summer coats. Did you see the ones over there with the brown coats on? And the white under their chins? That's gonna be their summer coat. And there's some that still haven't shed it yet, so if you want any of their fur, take it home with you, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, come on up here. Let's get a picture. One, two, three. Awesome. So, are uh, you two brothers? And uh, but here's what I want you to do. One of you is like feeling like you're being picked on, or you want to fight back. Just walk away. Okay. All right. Just ignore the other one and walk away. And, you know, because you're going to be brothers the rest of your life. We are able to go in and feed and pet the reindeer. They are gentle, will not bite you because they have no front teeth. The reindeer were also shedding their winter coat in the summertime. And did you know reindeer don't even have top teeth? So they don't bite too hard.
Denali is beautiful and peaceful. We can see why my parents like going up there to work every summer. We spent two nights in Denali at the McKinley Chalet Resort, where my parents work for a cruise line company that has overnight stops here. The hotel is on the Ninana River, and the resort has several different housing options. We were in the newer Ridgeview building, and the rooms were gorgeous, so I highly recommend it. Fire pit and live music every night at the McKinley Chalet Resort we took advantage of. It started with our birthday breakfast tradition of donuts in the morning. And Lucas got his favorite sushi rainbow roll, and Judy and I shared a Fairbanks roll and an Oh My God roll. We also went to Fountainhead Antique Auto Museum. This museum has an amazing collection of vintage automobiles and exhibits highlighting the era of each automobile. We got to ride in a Model T from 1909. Lucas loved looking at the price of all the cars and features, and Henry enjoyed watching the videos. Thanks for watching and subscribe, hit the like notification button and we'll see you on the next video.